Hello my dear students, today we are going to do calculation part of centrifugal pump. So the first consideration we need to take that are observations. So the first one is distance between the pressure gauge and vacuum gauge that is 0.26 meter and it is nothing but Z value of Z. Then volume of a water collecting tank is given by here. Energy meter constant is 1600 IMP whereas density of the water that is denoted by rho and it is constant 1000 kg per meter cube and the efficiency is 80%. Now if we move to the next portions I have made a tabular column which consists of first one is serial number, next one is pressure gauge reading which is denoted by pre. The third one is vacuum gauge reading which is denoted by VG and the next fourth one is pressure head and next vacuum head and next sixth one is total head. This is the speed, time taken for blinks, this is time taken for water, this is Q actual that is actual discharge, indicated power, brake power, efficiency, unit speed this is specific unit speed this is specific speed and this is unit power so for calculation purpose i have taken the readings so in readings also if you observe the readings which i have written by the blue color these readings we have to take it from the centrifugal pump and the readings which we have written in red colors these all readings are result of the calculation. So 0.2 is a reading shown on pressure gauge. 170 is a reading shown on vacuum gauge. Whereas the speed is 2900 rpm and for 10 blinks of energy meter it is taking 64 seconds and to collect water in that tank for 20 liters I am considering here 20 liters it is taking 13.53 seconds now move on to the calculation the 4 indicates the fourth column so it is the formula is pressure into 10 so now pressure is 0.2 if you multiply this with 10 you will get reading of 2 so same I have written here the next one vacuum gauge so vacuum gauge Vg divided by 1000 into 13.6. So Vg is nothing but 170. So 170 divided by 1000. Put this in bracket. Multiplied with 13.6. The answer is 2.312. Which is written here. Now total head if you add. So if I go for the total head. Hp, Hg plus Z. So now what is HP is 2, HG is 2.3 and what is Z? Z is nothing but 0.26. If we add this, we will get 4.572 meter. Now the next, fourth one, actual volume, which is V by T. So for this calculation, I am taking the volume is 20 liters, that is 0 0.02 meters cube divided by 13.53 so to collect this much of water it is taking time 13.53 so answer of this 4 1.478 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter cube per second the next one we will go for IP so IP formula is K into 3600 into efficiency divided by capital T into EMC so what is K the number of blinkings so for this calculation we are counting 10 blinks so k is 10 here so in place of k i have put it 10 3600 efficiency is given here that is 80 percent but instead of writing 80 i am writing 0 0.80 put this in bracket divided by put t time is 64 second into 1600 that is nothing but the energy meter constant if you put these values we will get indicated power as 0 0.28 kilowatt
now the next calculation is bp so formula is w into q actual into h divided by 1000 where w is specific weight of that water that is standard 9810 meter cube per kg so in place of w i am putting this in place of q actual 1.47 into 10 raised to minus 3 into 4.56 so substitution is important where i have used a bracket you have to same use it in your calculator divided by 1000 that is also separately added into a bracket so this answer is for above we are getting 65.87 and for below 1000 so answer is 0 0.065 kilowatt now if i move for mechanical efficiency this one that is nothing but bp by ip so my bp is 0 0.065 divided by ip 0 0.028 multiplied by 100 so this answer is 23.21 which is written here now next unit discharge that is q actual divided by root of h so q actual is 1.47 which is written here put this in bracket divided by open one bracket root of 4.567 complete the bracket this answer is 6.87 into 10 raised to minus 4 now the next one is unit speed that is n divided by root of h for n which we have got from tachometer that is 2900 so bracket 2900 divided by root of 4.657 so wherever h is there that is your total h so total h is nothing but once again i will tell you addition of this all so if i put this 2900 in bracket divided by open bracket root of 4.657 we are going to get the answer of 13.57 rpm so which is written here now specific speed that is ns so n root of q actual divided by h 3 root 4 3 by 4 so n 2900 root 1.47 into 10 raised to minus 4 which is nothing but this one divided by 4.567 complete this 3 to the 3 by 4 so we got answer 35.68 and the last one unit power bp by h 3 by 2 so my bp was 0 0.065 divided by h is always same 4.657 to the root of 3 by 2 so substitution in calculator is very important here so how i have substituted you see root 0 0.065 complete the bracket divided by open a bracket then one put small bracket 4.657 complete this bracket for h root of this open one more bracket 3 by 2 come close this bracket and close the main bracket so my answer is 6.659 into 10 raised to minus 3 kilowatt